Hey everyone, today I'd like to share a fantastic tool that allows sprite, pixel and 2D artists to create 3D environments and models for their games using only tile sets. This is a quick one. Before we get started, I'd like to mention that my content is powered in part by my patrons, the subscribers of Andrew David Plus. By subscribing, you get early access to videos, behind the scenes content, exclusive monthly video updates, access to join our private Discord hangouts and more. Modeling in Crocodile is very easy and it's perfect if you're looking to recreate that retro PS1 aesthetic. All you have to do is click on a tile from your tile set and place it on the X, Y, or Z axis in your scene. You can also click and drag to select a larger portion of the tile set before painting them in. And mix and matching tiles from multiple tile sets together into your scene is also possible. Each tile uses UV coordinates to define what portion of the tile set to display on the tile's face. You can edit these UV coordinates in the UVs tab and selecting faces in the scene will display the corresponding UVs on the tileset panel within that tab. You can then adjust the UVs by repositioning them, rotating them by their pivot point, scaling them or wrapping them in any way you want. You can also have alpha transparency on certain tiles for things like glass windows or water and decal tiles allow you to layer tiles on top of other tiles to add more detail to your scene or objects. Another great feature is animated tiles. There is an animation section located in the UVs panel where you can manage all your UV animations and adding animated tiles to the 3D scene is quite simple. Simply create a new animation by selecting which tiles you want to sequence together. Then select that animation and draw the tile into the scene as you would normally do. When placing animated tiles into the 3D scene, you can specify which frame the animation begins on or the exact time in seconds as well. You can also paint directly in the editor. Doing so modifies the pixel data of the textures and tile sets and you will see your changes in real time reflected on the 3D model. It includes a variety of tools such as dithering, mirroring, and symmetry, and a complete paint palette. Objects can also be created by grouping tiles together. Object instances can then be added to the scene as prefabricated objects or prefabs. Editing one prefab instance will update all other instances with the same changes. Cameras, lighting, and various rendering options are available if you're using the tool to render out 2D assets. And scene effects like bloom, fog, and depth of field are possible if you're looking to create scenes for animations. And with the more advanced tools like animation timeline, skinning and rigging, and weight painting, it's possible to export animations in video or GIF formats, as well as export objects with baked animations and rigs to use in your games. Models can be exported in various formats to then be imported into Unity or other game engines. Crocodile still receives regular updates and features, so take a look at the documentation and change log for a complete list of features and download the demo from their itch.io page if you'd like to give it a try. Make sure you watch this video here if you're interested in more tools and of course, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. Thanks for watching.